Hi. And boy, are we glad that you picked tonight to tune in, because we have got a secret. I'll t this is probably the show business scoop of the year. Now, I don't think it's a secret to anybody that perhaps the hottest act in show business this year is not an American act, it's an English group called the Beatles. I think almost everybody knows that the Beatles are making their first appearance in America on Ed Sullivan's show next Sunday night. But Ed Sullivan, being a good friend of ours and a very generous man, <laughs> has allowed us to give you a little preview here tonight. And here from England are the original Beatles. Got a secret brought to you tonight by Dream Whip, the whip topping with country fresh flavor. From General Foods. Live from New York, here is I Got a Secret, starring Gary Moore. Thank you. A second and redundant welcome to I've Got a Secret. And now that you have met the Beatles, let's meet the bugs on our panel. Oh, yeah. First, there is Cricket Cullen. <laughs> and our Queen Bee, Betsy Palmer. Oh, our number one drone, Henry Morgan. Hey, and our ladybug, Bess Myers. <laughs> I'm a I got a hot clue for you. The Beatles may be red-hot foursome, a red-hot foursome, but all of our guests tonight, every one of them, have developed their powers of concentration and dexterity to the point where it would take three or four very talented people to accomplish what they can do single-handedly. As you will see as we meet our first contestant. Could you tell our panel, please, what your name is and where you're from? Victor G. Hyde, Niles, Michigan. Victor Hyde from Niles, Michigan. Now, Mr. Hyde is a musician. And as I indicated to you earlier, his musicianship starts where most musicians leave off. So, Mr. Hyde, if you will whisper your secret to me, we'll show it at the same time to our audience at home. Go <laughs> ahead now. Carol, the clue to Mr. Hyde's secret concerns something he is going to do, and because she's been missing for two weeks and is welcome back tonight, we'll start with Betsy Palmer. Thank you, and may I take one, just one little tiny moment to say thank you to all the people in Phoenix, Arizona, who made me so welcome. I read thank your you notices, child. Marvelous. Thank you. Now, Mr. Hyde, has it any to do, anything to do with the part of the country that you are from, from Niles, Michigan? No, ma'am. Does it have to do with the instrument that you play? Well, does the secret have to do yes? Do yes. you play only one instrument? One kind of instrument? No, I just said one instrument. <laughs> yes. You do. Uh, well, we'd, have to say, we'd have to say, it, it, tonight the secret concerns one kind, if that's what, is that what you... One kind of instrument. In other words... Oh, no, in other words, it's $20 down and $60 <laughs> to go, and we close in on Henry Morgan, please. First, I'd like to say thank you to the lovely people in San Juan, Puerto Rico, who took all my money. <laughs> <laughs> what? Given all your money, just one of those concerns. It wasn't a concern. It was a gambling <laughs> That's den. That's what I mean. <laughs> I almost said hell. <laughs> Don't. Um, <laughs> Mr. Hyde, uh, let's see, Niles. Ring Lardner was born in Niles, Michigan. Right. Fine. Uh, you play a, a group of, a class of instruments. Yes, sir. Wind. Yes, sir. And, uh, but it is, they are not ordinary instruments, right? Well, they're quite no. ordinary instruments, yes. aren't they? Yeah. You play them all at the same time, though, right? Yes, sir. $40 down, $40 to go. Away. Know, Henry didn't know what he was talking about, but he got a yes answer, and we go to Best Myers. How do we do that? Do you earn a living doing this? Yes, ma'am. Now, uh, let me just take a far reach. Could it be not a musical instrument, but rather the instrument of your voice, your own voice? No, ma'am. Oh, it isn't. Well, that's right. Uh, are you going to perform on these, on this particular instrument tonight? Yes, ma'am. Is it, um, is it the, well, let's see. I said it's a group and they said yeah. yes. Uh, is it the usual kind of instrument like a, a, a flute 
oboe, clarinet. The standard instrument. Standard instrument found in almost every orchestra. Sixty dollars down, twenty dollars to go. We go please to Bill Cobb. Well, Henry said a group of them. Do you play more than one of these instruments at one time? Yes, sir. Uh, 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 woodwind? No, sir. Uh, trumpet? Yes, yes. sir. How, uh, five? Uh, now you're just going to ruin the man's whole act. <laughs> five. Two. I'm sorry. I always... Well, all right. Let's, let's cut it off because now we're just going for numbers. That's he written. says 76 trombones. He plays 76 no, trombones. You do? No. <laughs> all at one time. In keeping with our theme tonight, Vic Hyde's secret is that he is going to play not one, not two, not three, Bill, not but five. four trumpets, not five, four <laughs> trumpets at the same time. <laughs> Vic, how did you come to learn to play four trumpets at a time? Well, accidentally, in Niles High School, I played two, and then I learned to do them in two-part harmony, then I went better than that, I practiced on three, and uh, it took three years of very sincere practice. I can believe it. And uh, from then, I was on a tour with Rudy Valley, and he, we wanted to make up a finale, and we decided to work up four at a time, and that called for a little more practice, and uh, I'm, I'm practicing on five now. Five? I, I eat bananas sideways to stay in training. Stretch <laughs> <laughs> your mouth, huh? Well, I think we should get right down to your numbers, so if you'll come center, we will reunite you with all of your trumpets. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we got here... A fellow who has entertained from one end of this world to the other, we call him Victor Hyde to make it sound uh, like a uh, non-professional, but Vic Hyde is known from one end of the world to the other, and here he is with his trumpet quartet. i got to warm up a little. I, he does a full one-hour show, and where are you playing tomorrow morning, mind you? Eight o'clock at Junior High School in uh, Anderson, Indiana. Ten o'clock at the Senior High School, Anderson, and two thirty at Elwood, Indiana. And the only way to get there is for him to fly to Detroit tonight, where he left his car, and drive down tonight. To well, the... Man, you got energy. You know, there's ten thousand high schools, and that's a new kind of show business I didn't hear about. <laughs> I'll get to go to school last. Thank you. Now, we will be back with you again in just a moment, but first, let's watch this. 